Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about how to amplify the current from this NOT gate going into an AND gate, um, and also the uses for it. So this is the exact same circuit that I was uh, showing last week, um, except this of course doesn't have a MOSFET anywhere in there, um, and it only has three transistors, and as you can see if I go ahead and give it power, and I do this button right here, Oh, well, maybe I should have the ground connected negative. So now, if I were to give this right here power, the LED, of course, turns on. You guys can see the LED is turning on. If I have the other one, it doesn't turn on. If I have none of them, it doesn't turn on. Uh, if I have both of them, it doesn't turn on. Um, you Like, the only combination is this one. I'll go ahead and put a little card in the corner. Um, so that you can uh, go back to last week's video if you didn't watch it. Um, but we're going to be talking about how to amplify this. So what if you don't want to drive a, a very low current um, device such as uh, an LED? Well, depending on the current, if it's in um, around the 600-500 milliamp range, you could use um, the 2N5551 um, transistor on the output to amplify the current but still that's a medium sized uh, current value and you can actually do that if I go ahead and put this aside you can actually do that with this circuit so this is the exact same circuit that I had from last time as you can see I have more switches um, but uh, you would go ahead and put this little transistor on the output uh, right, no sorry right there that to Q4 you would have a 1K going to the base and this is an NPN the ba uh, the emitter goes to ground and then the collector would go to the negative of your load and the positive of your load would go to um, VCC or in my case 5 volts. Well, what if you want to have even more current on the output? In that case, you could just swap out this transistor right here with an N-channel logic level MOSFET just like this one. This is the RFP30N06LE. This is actually the one that I was using um, on my actual circuit board. But uh, very, very easy. You, could ju you can actually take out this 1K resistor right here, that R7. Um, you do need this one, though that's very important. Uh, but you could just go ahead and swap in the gate of your N-channel logic level MOSFET for the base of this transistor. You could uh, go ahead and swap out the source. Um, or sorry, swap in the source of your MOSFET to the emitter of this one um, and you could do the collector, swap that in for the um, or sorry, uh, swap in the drain for the collector on this one um, but if you are going to be using super high uh, current loads um, it, it all depends on your MOSFET but uh, you may need a heat sink so just remember that very easy uh, swap in this one actually goes gate drain source so I would put the gate which would be the left I would put that um, right here going to what my output would be um, the drain in the middle would go to this collector again that would go to the negative of my load and the one on the right which is my source would go to ground very easy um, really really easy to swap it in and now I have some visual representation to do that now let's go ahead and talk about the uses. So this is the entire circuit that I have. This over here is an H bridge to control a motor. The plus and the minus go to a motor. Um, and I'm actually using all these switches over here for a password lock. So this is the NOT gate. So these will be the six um, numbers that are never supposed to be on, or they are the they are the incorrect ones. And these four are the correct ones so say the password is one two three four you would have to have all of these on and all of these off and again that would just be like having uh... the one momentary button on and the other momentary button off so yeah you could run uh, a motor and actually this transistor right here would actually be a mosfet if you are going to run a motor make sure you have a flyback diode in my case i have four because the motor can go both directions and i'm going to use it to drive um, a door open and closed um, but you can also do several things with it. Um, you could even uh, you could put it into a big, a bigger logic gate series. Um, though you may want to consider maybe using an IC for that. But if you're going with discrete components, such as all the ones on here, not a single IC on it, as you can see. 
Um, in that case, uh, this circuit could be part of a much larger um, logic gate. And I think that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And yeah, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys later.